Hey, sorry about that face, um, but I do enough of these videos to support all of you guys as part of the practice and the freeze frame at the beginning is always like a hilarious thing to me. So anyway, what I wanted to reach out to everybody as part of the practice today that is dealing with nutritional issues that we're working with, especially through gut sensitivities. You've taken the food sensitivity profiling, you've done that blood work, the tests have shown us what your body is sensitive to and what it's not sensitive to, what foods we need to be avoiding to not drive our inflammation through the roof and just fuel these digestive issues. So my words today are just words of encouragement. I know it's not easy for any of us to have to change a diet and a lifestyle that has been our habit for decades, right? Some folks, their entire life they've eaten this way, eaten these similar foods, they love these foods, but their body hates them. So if you're in that boat and you know you've got to make some tough choices on how you eat, what you feed that body, what kind of fuel you put into the system, I encourage you today, put forth that effort. Stay steady, stay strong with it, keep up the good work your body is going to benefit so much from trimming more and more of those highly sensitive foods out of the diet and keeping them out. Keep them out long enough for that to become the new habit. Then it's not so much effort, then it's not really work, it is just now how life is for you at that point. And you won't miss those foods nearly as much as you think you will, but what you will enjoy, what you will really reap are the benefits to the body when we're not putting wood on the fire, right? And we, got, we start to get those fires to extinguish and we start having a body that works better, plays better, feels better, lasts longer, and is truly healthier. So God bless and keep up the good work.